In the winter months of 93, when EA Sports released FIFA International Soccer, they had little idea of the gaming behemoth it would become. But beneath the greatest football video game franchise lies a global trade of counterfeit virtual coins that are sold for real world cash. Loads and money! Since FIFA 09, there's been a mode within the game called FIFA Ultimate Team. Foot for short. It's hugely popular and is massively successful for EA, as they pocket $650 million yearly across their Ultimate Team titles. Foot gives gamers the chance to build their dream roster of the world's best footballers, providing they have luck or cash on their side. Every player in the top leagues of world football has a digital card specific to them. Players are rated from 0 to 99 and are based on real world stats and current form. Basically, the higher the number on the card, the better that player is in the game. It's pretty much a virtual Panini sticker album, although when you're lucky enough to find Sergio Aguero in a pack or can afford him on the eBay star market, you can play with him in your custom made team. Foot is so popular that real world footballers themselves are concerned with the stats that are given to them. Premier League champion Jamie Vardy being so unhappy with his that he planted his head through a cardboard version of it. To start with, let's talk about Foot's virtual currencies. There are two, coins and FIFA points, both quite different. Coins are obtained for free, by playing matches within the game or buying low and selling high on the Foot virtual transfer market. Until recently, the latter was considered a place where you could become a bona fide ultimate team millionaire. There is a naughty third option, but we'll talk about that later. However, it's not that easy to get your dream players. Lionel Messi is currently going for about 2.3 million coins. And when you consider you only get about 600 for a win, it seems like Messi is a pipe dream for the most of us. The most rewarding method people found for making a quick buck was trawling through the copious amounts of cards on sale in the hope that a newbie or drunkard had accidentally placed, say, Mesut Ozil on sale for 8,000 coins, when his price should command 10 times that amount. Akin to panning for gold, finding bargains like this filled gamers with a chest-bursting joy. In contradiction to coins, FIFA points can only be obtained by purchasing them with real money on the FIFA store. Both can be used to buy packs of cards containing players, which is undoubtedly one of the most exciting but more often than not disappointing aspects of Ultimate Team. Armed with 7,500 free coins or 150 FIFA points, which equates to roughly £1.20, one can open a top tier pack and pray to the FIFA gods that they reward you with someone worthwhile. And we get no one again. The main difference between coins and FIFA points is that coins can be used to buy specific players on the transfer market. FIFA points cannot. This is to stop the richy riches of the world pumping cash into the game and just straight up buying the best players. However, because of expensive pack costs, the disappointing players generally found in them and the arduous amount of time they take to collect, Gamers hungry for the world's best have turned to buying illicit coins on the internet. In 2011, EA released a PC web app that was linked to your Ultimate Team profile. It allowed you to buy, sell and trade players 24 hours a day. It was truly amazing. A footballing stock market that you could play whilst at work, school or even on the toilet. However, once it was on the PC format, hackers or coin farmers as they're known began to appear. <laughs> Using two techniques, bot farming and glitch farming, they could hack the system and rack up millions and millions of coins. Autobuy bots are online tools that scan the market and buy players automatically. They do this at an unbelievably quick rate, significantly faster than what is humanly possible, killing any chance of that chest-bursting joy we talked about earlier. Glitch coins are achieved by using what hackers call trainers. This is a piece of software that allows users to tell FIFA what they want the scoreline of an online game to be. They disconnect and cha-ching, the coins come flooding in. The hackers would then advertise these illicit coins online with a real money value. Once a purchase had been made, the customer would list a worthless player for the agreed amount on the market. The sellers would then buy that card and the transaction would be made. At this point, it's easy to see why people do it. 100,000 farmed coins are currently listed on a site for $7.99, the price of five FIFA packs bought legitimately. In those five packs, you're more than likely to find nothing of worth but with 100,000 illicit coins burning a hole in your back pocket, you can go straight onto the market and buy yourself top-end players like Gonzalo Higuain. <laughs> virtual gold farming, acquiring virtual currency and selling it for real money isn't a new thing, nor is it solely FIFA's problem. In the early 2000s, this became quite a topic in massively multiplayer online games such as World of Warcraft. For those games, people in developing nations, often in sweatshop-like conditions, held full-time employment as gold farmers. 
spending long hours acquiring desirable features or currency and then selling them via the internet to players from developed countries, saving themselves many hours of playing time. In 2011, The Guardian uncovered that prisoners in certain Chinese labour camps were forced to partake in gold farming for the benefit of the prison authorities. Ultimate Team has never been linked to such activities, but it gives you an idea of how lucrative the virtual currency selling business is. And although coin farming isn't illegal when it comes to law, it's forbidden by EA and can lead to lifetime FIFA bans for people found buying or selling. Coin selling is a controversial subject within the gaming community, as although it damages the gameplay and skews the market in favour of the cheaters, well-respected YouTube stars are sponsored by coin sellers and they're making a hell of a lot of cash in the process. EA did take action and in March 2015 they released a price tier system for the transfer market, meaning all cards must be sold within the predetermined EA approved price range. This act was aimed at the coin sellers as low rated cards could not be listed for millions just to move coins across accounts. The coin sellers immediately sidestepped this by advertising comfort trades, which is just selling the logins to Ultimate Team accounts preloaded with coins. The price tier system didn't kill coin sellers, it punished the people who played fairly. It stopped any chance of players finding a bargain, and for many, the chance of becoming an Ultimate Team millionaire was dead. Hashtag RIP Foot was born, with many dissenting voices airing their disgust for the new system. I woke up. Twitter was blowing up, Damn. hashtag rip foot kept showing up really? Seemed ultimate team was trolling us, it kicked me out every time that it opened up They also introduced a ban system for anybody playing outside of the rules But many saw this as a token effort to deal with quite a serious problem It seems that with EA's current stance, it would be impossible to kill coin selling completely But pulling the plug on the web app would be a start The 24-7 wherever you are trading would be no more, but the market would begin to stabilise And like the real world no matter what EA decide to do, the unscrupulous will always find loopholes and glitches that will keep the coin sellers in business. So why don't they do more? Maybe they don't want to, and more precisely, maybe we don't want them to either. Properly enforced anti-cheating rules, like an even more stringent price tier system, would remove the thing that attracted everyone to the game in the first place. A chance to progress from Wheeler Dealer into Pep Guardiola. EA are currently treading a fine line as it is as they need to make steps to punish cheaters without stripping Ultimate Team of its magic. And as we know, it's the magic that keeps millions and millions of us playing.